My name is Jeb Burden. I am a professional race car driver. Lucky to be able to do what I love to do and trying to make it in the sport of NASCAR. My dad raced in NASCAR for many years. When I started racing, my name was not gonna hurt me any, and I'm proud of the Burden last name. I think Dad can still get it done, to be honest. Back in the day, you were manhandling the cars and they were sliding around. Now, you're still manhandling the cars, but they're moving around and doing a lot of different things and really on edge. So I think I would uh, take him to school if we, we race against each other. It's been a journey to get to this point, but it's really made me respect and appreciate the opportunity I have. So we're heading to South Boston Speedway. The racetrack means a lot to me. It's where I started racing at when I was a kid. My dad and uncle raced there too, coming up through the ranks. So that's where I started my racing career and it's been a good track for the Burtons. My dad stays on my butt when I don't do a good job, but he's also there to praise me when I do a good job. And he's got a different role and, and he kind of backs away, but he's still there to tell me what I need to hear. Yeah, to have two Burtons behind me on here is pretty cool. I'm hoping one day I can be successful enough or maybe I can have my own name up here one day. Every week, I'm trying to do the best I can for me, my partners, my family. You never know when your last race is going to be. So you want to go out there and try to win every weekend. It's tough to win. Everything's got to go right. It's all I think about is, is trying to be a better race car driver, and I want it so bad. Taking your success and your failures and not dwelling on them is a tough thing. When you win, I soak that in for a little bit, but then I'm already thinking about the next week. So it's a, it's a tough balance there. Winning at Talladega was huge for me, my friends, my family. When they came up and told me that we won, I wanted to drive away, go do my burnout, have my minute in the car by myself. And, and that's what I did, and, and that was special. Just the journey to get to that point has been a hell of a roller coaster. So to win there just meant the world. So in my sport, it gets really hot in the race cars. You're sweating a lot. You're moving your arms a lot. Heart rate gets about 180. I mean, it's up there, and I'm always training and doing a lot of different things to take care of my body. I'm a little guy, but I can stand the heat. Normally, I burn about 1,500 calories in a race, so I try to stuff myself and eat really good before. My wife, Brandy, is always taking care of me and making sure I'm eating the right things, and the Pit Boss Grill makes it so easy because she can be grilling on one side and smoking something on the other. She's an amazing cook, and everybody in this town knows it. From our cooking show to the things that I'm posting, when I go to the race shop, all my race team, all they're talking about is my wife cooking. They're not talking about me driving the race car, they're talking about what Brandy's cooking on the pit boss. When race car driver Jeb stops racing that day, I get back here at home in South Side of Virginia. You know, I'm a conservationist. I love being in the outdoors. I do a lot of things with my dad's wildlife foundation. Do a lot of things with our TV show Crossroads with the Burdens. I'm just a down home southern country boy and lucky to have a great family and a great wife. The hunting outdoor lifestyle and grilling is one of the main reasons we hunt. We love to chase the game but we also love to eat the game. It's, it's healthy. We know where our food's coming from. If it's elk, deer, or bear, anything we hunt we're gonna eat it. Those Duck Dynasty guys, they kill a lot of ducks, so they know how to cook a lot of ducks too, so they got us beat on that one. But I bet we can cook a better bear burger than they can. When Brandy harvested her first bear a couple years ago, we had all this meat, and I think just going to the burger and sausage was what we wanted to do when we took it to the processor, and we started cooking it on the Pit Boss, and it's unbelievable. It's the best burger that you'll eat. The Pit Boss Grill I have is a Platinum Lockhart, the Lockhart I like, you can grill on the bottom and in the top you can smoke. So Brandy's always smoking stuff on the top and grilling on the bottom. The flavor is unbelievable and Pit Boss definitely changed the game in our household. Family and community is number one priority for the Burden family. We're cooking all the time, grilling all the time. That's who we are.